Um, and it's interesting, I too start with that. Like if I, I don't know what else to predict, but as a foundational For thing, sure. this seems like the safest starting you know, premise. But then what does that ripple through to in fields like genetics and AI, which you mentioned, autonomous driving, space-related topics? I mean, just ubiquitous computing everywhere. Um, I, I think like AI is going to be incredibly sophisticated in 20 years. Mm. Um, the, when does it mean, first it, wake it, up? It, it, like it seems to be accelerating. And the, the tricky thing about predicting things when there's an exponential is that an exponential looks like looks linear close up. That's right. um, and and but it's actually it's not linear. So uh, and, and AI appears to be accelerating. Um, as far as I can see. Um, and do you, for that, do you look at autonomous driving and point AIs, like the Siri-like functionality, as your yeah. guidepost? Um, well, I had sort of a debate about someone like, is AI accelerating or not? And the, the, like, he was saying, well, what's the y-axis? You know, if, you, if it's accelerating, um, you got T on the x-axis, but what's, what's the y-axis? And I said, well, I thought about that, and I think you could have a recursive y-axis so that uh, if, if, if at any point in time your, your predictions for AI are coming sooner or later, um, that, that actually would help define whether it's uh, accelerating or not. Whatever that axis was. So you might just look it's, at the net change. It's a recursive axis. Like, so if, if in any given year, if you, if you find your predictions are, are um, going further out or coming, further, or coming closer in, mm -hmm. that, that actually you know, is, is one way to think of acceleration. Because like, like, otherwise, what's the, what's the qualitative or quantitative measure of, mm -hmm. of AI? Um, I was saying, like if a given technology is always 20 years in the future. Yeah, if, if it's always 20 it, years in the future, yeah. it's like more logarithmic. <laughs> um, so does uh, AI seem like it's one of the most fastly accelerating things that you're aware of? Yes. Um, and I, I can certainly see that with, with autonomous driving, where um, you know, three years ago, I thought it was 10 years away. Mm -hmm. And then two years ago, I thought it was five years away. Now I think it's three years away or less than three years away. Wow. So, and when you say away, like, like, like released to market, available for consumer adoption, as opposed to prototyping? No, I mean, like the, like the technology works. There's a sort of second question as to when regulators would approve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but like... Good luck the, with that. <laughs> the technology works in a... In a t technology works as a general solution. So, like, gotcha. autonomous driving, like, basically Across works anywhere. So it could be sooner for point things, like highway only or... I mean, highway only, we're already in public beta mm -hmm. with this at Tesla, so um, we'll be hopefully in the next several weeks releasing to, to all of the cars that have the autopilot hardware, which is all cars built in like roughly the last 12 months.